Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I share with you four ideas for your bullet journal for school. So let's begin. The first thing that it's necessary to have is the list of the teacher's name and their subjects. It's important to remember each name so you won't get wrong and embarrassed if you need to ask some questions. I wrote a table in which I put the name of the subject in the first column, then I colored each subject with a specific color because it will be a reference for the timetable. In the second column I wrote the name of the teacher, in the third column I wrote information that can be useful for a student, for example the days and the hours where the teacher can be available. You can see the completed look in a few seconds. In Italy every teacher has a couple of hours in a determinate day to dedicate to a student or a parent, so if you have to ask some explanation or you just want to talk with your teacher, you can fix a meeting with him or her. The last column I wrote the worth of the subject and this can be useful if you are attending the college so you can remember well on what subject you have to focus more. In the next page I did a timetable, I wrote outside the table the hours from 6am to 10pm because it's the typical day of a student's life and then I wrote the days of the week from Monday to Friday, then I colored every rectangle with the corresponding subject. Teachers often give assignments so I thought to do two different kinds of assignment tracker. The first one is a table where I wrote in every column a specific assignment and the column is divided into 30 stripes which correspond to 30 days of the month. This table will help you to organize your work and set daily goals. For example, in the one you can do the introduction, on the two you can start writing the first pages of the assignment and so on. In the other page you can see a more defined and specific way to organize your project. You can use one or more pages for every assignment. As you can see, I divided the page mainly in three parts. The first one is about the introduction of the assignment, the second part is the development and the third part is the conclusion. Next to each section I left some space where it's possible to write ideas and steps that help you to achieve your goal and finish that part of the assignment. I also left in both the table and here a column where you can tick every step done. Many of you asked me a way to sign homework in bullet journal, so I put together this setup which is a vertical setup. I divided the pages in five columns and I wrote on the top the days of the week. The vertical setup is the best for homework because you have enough space to write down everything and if you think you need more space you can use one page for two days of the week and do the same thing for the other pages. At the end of the page I decided to put two sections. One is for test where you can write the days where you have a test and the other section is a not section that you can use, for example, if you need to buy stuff for school or you have to remember something. The last idea for your bullet journal is the budgeting and expenses log. Instead of writing this log every month, I thought it was a good idea to put every month together in one table. So I divided the first page in 12 columns that of course represent each month of the year and in the next page I put three columns about the item, about the category and the price. Then I added a section under the 12 columns, it's a total section where you sign how many money you spent that month and how many money you saved. If you have any other ideas or requests for bullet journal for school, let me know with a comment down below and if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, also follow me on my social media so we can keep in touch. Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video, bye bye!